In this video, we're going to take a look at how we modify materials in 3ds Max Interactive and what we need to do if we decide to do the material changes in 3ds Max. If you want to modify materials in 3ds Max Interactive, there are a few ways to go about doing this. The method that I prefer is to select the object uh, that contains the material you want to modify and in the property editor, you can see that it contains all the materials on this object. Um, alternatively, if you go into the folder where the unit is uh, saved, there's also a materials folder, um, which has essentially the same thing. So if I wanted to, um, let's say, modify the tires, I'll select the object and find the tires material and then click go to resource. And if I click on that, you can see now the properties contain the exact same uh, thing that we saw in 3ds Max when we used DirectX shaders. So it's important to know that um, if we use different materials in 3ds Max, in the end, they will be converted to these DirectX, DirectX materials that you see here. So that's why I suggested that we start off with this in 3ds Max just to um, avoid having now to uh, do even more work to get things looking the way we should. So because we used DirectX materials in 3ds Max, what we saw there and what we see now in 3ds Max Interactive should be practically the same. Um, but yeah, let's say I want to change the color. All I need to do is, let's say, go to base color. And for the sake of clarity, I'm going to change this to apparently pink, um, but there it is. You can see that it's changed. And if you uh, see now in the materials folder, you can see that the tires material is in orange. And what that means is, is that you've made a change, but you haven't saved it. So if for some reason I didn't want to do this, I can right click and then choose discard changes. Or if I wanted to, um, so let's go ahead and change that again. Let's say, I don't know, in this case, something a little bit more red. Um, I can right click and then hit save and then it saves it. Now you don't have to do this every time you make a change. If I were to change the color, so anyways, whatever, white, and I were to quit the level, it will ask me if I wanna save any of these changes that I've made to any of the, the contents of the scene. If you wanted to do this in 3ds Max, it's not that much different than what we've seen up to this point. So in 3ds Max, all I need to do is make the changes there. So let's say change it to green. Um, and then once that's done, make sure that I'm connected. And then once again, we um, send level send this to 3ds Max Interactive. Now, one thing that's very important is that when we do our send level now, um, we don't really need to um, send everything all over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enable update existing assets because I just want to update the changes that I've made. And the other thing that's really important is that um, I enable update materials. So we had it before, that's why it's there, um, but by default it's not enabled. So make sure you enable this. Uh, for textures, so if I were to, if I added um, images onto this material, which I didn't, then I need to make sure I would have need to make sure that I have textures enabled. Um, but I didn't in this case. Um, so really, the only thing important is update materials, and then you would do a send and close, and you'll see it updated in 3ds Max Interactive.